Hi, let's solve one previous question of regular language DOC. This question was asked in GET CS 2021 set to question number 47. Which of the following regular expression represents the binary numbers that are divisible by 3? Assume that the string epsilon is divisible by 3. In 4 option, 4 regular expression is given and it was a MSQ. More than one option will be correct. Let me first write down which string will be belongs to this language. Epsilon as it is written, epsilon is divisible by 3. Then 0, clean closure means any number of 0, 2, 0, 3, 0. Any number of 0 that will be 0 and 0 is divisible by 3. Then 1, 1 that is 3, 3 is divisible by 3. 0, 1, 1 that is also 3. Even you can write any number of 0 then 1, 1. That value is 3 and 3 is divisible by 3. Then 1, 1, 0 this is 6, 6 is divisible by 3. Then 1, 0, 0, 1, 9, 9 is divisible by 3, 1, 1, 0, 0, 12, 12 is divisible by 3, 15 is divisible by 3. The language is binary number should be divisible by 3. One way you can check whichever the regular expression is accepting this string, but it will be time consuming. You have to check all the string, it will be time consuming. So better way, let me design the DFA for this. It will accept epsilon so initial state will be the final state then it will accept zero clean closure so just make a self loop of zero then by one it will go to another state q1 now for q0 is done let's do for q1 how it is to q1 it is to q1 by one 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 decimal value is three three is divisible by three so from q1 by one it will go to q0 state then from q1 by 0, 1, 0, decimal value will be 2. So from q1 state by 0, it will go to q2 state. Let's do for q2. How it is to q2? It is to q2 by 1, 0. 1, 0, 0, that is 4. 4 divisible by 3, remainder will be 1. So from q2 state by 0, it will go to q1 state. Then 1, 0, 1, that is 5, 5 divisible by 3, remainder will be 2. So at Q2 state by 1, it will be a self loop. Q0, that is for remainder 0, Q1, that is for remainder 1, Q2, that is for remainder 2. Whenever a number you are dividing by 3, there will be 3 remainder. 1 can be 0, 1 can be 1, 1 can be 2. So 1 state for remainder 0, 1 state for remainder 1, 1 state for remainder 2. I designed this DFA according to the division process. You can design according to shortcut. So what will be shortcut? You can write Q0, Q1, Q2. Divisible by 3. So there will be 3 state. You can write 0, 1 here. Then from Q0 by 0, it will be Q0, Q1, Q2. Then again, you can write Q0, Q1, Q2. So this is the shortcut. By shortcut, you can design the DFA or by division process, you can design the DFA. Now DFA is done. Let's run one by one regular expression on this DFA and check whether this regular expression is for this DFA or not. Option A, 0, plus, plus means that is or, 1, 1 will go here, then 0, 1, clean closure 0, 0, 1. So here it is a self loop, so you can write clean closure 0, we are at state Q1, then 1 and whole clean closure. Yes, this is the regular expression. Either you can choose this path that is 0 or you can choose this path that is 1, 0, 1 clean closure, 0. Then the whole clean closure of this, it can be do any repetition, then 1 and that clean closure. Yes, option A is the regular expression for this TFA. Next check option B. 0, yes by 0 it will accept, then 1, 1, 1, 1, yes by 1, 1 it will accept, then 1, 0, 1, 0, where at state Q2, then 1, 1 will be self loop or 0, 0, that self loop, either it will be 1 self loop or 0, 0 self loop, after this we are at state Q2, then 0, 1 and whole clean closure. So either it will be 0 or 1, 1 or this whole clean closure. Yes, B is the regular expression for this TFA. Next option C, if you'll see this regular expression is same as this regular expression. As we know, A plus B whole clean closure that you can write as 
ए क्लीन क्लोजर कन कट बी क्लीन क्लोजर होल क्लीन क्लोजर बोथ आर सेम आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस थिंग इन रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन प्रॉपर्टीज सो हियर दिस इज आवर ए दिस इज आवर बी ए प्लस बी होल क्लीन क्लोजर दैट इज इक्वल टू ए क्लीन क्लोजर कन कट बी क्लीन क्लोजर सो ऑप्शन सी इट इज सेम एज ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन सी इज ऑल्सो रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन फॉर दिस टी एफ ए नेक्स्ट चेक ऑप्शन डी जीरो यस देन वन 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 देन वन वन सो फर्स्ट वन सेकेंड वन वे आर एट स्टेट क्यू जीरो देन थर्ड वन वे आर एट स्टेट क्यू वन देन जीरो जीरो देन दैट होल क्लीन क्लोजर सो दिस वन प्लस जीरो जीरो होल क्लीन क्लोजर दिस वन जीरो जीरो दैट होल क्लीन क्लोजर इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट इज नॉट ए लुक बाई वन फ्रॉम क्यू जीरो इट इज गोइंग टू क्यू वन देन जीरो जीरो होल क्लीन क्लोजर दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो ड्यू टू दिस इट इज नॉट द रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन फॉर दिस टी एफ एन लेट मी कंसिडर सम स्ट्रिंग विच कैन बी जेनेटेड फ्रॉम दिस रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन एंड चेक फर्दर दिस स्ट्रिंग कैन बी एक्सेप्टेड बाय दिस टी एफ एर नॉट जीरो कैन बी जेनेट फ्रॉम दिस जीरो विल बी एक्सेप्टेड बाय दिस देन वन 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 कैन बी जेनेट फ्रॉम दिस एंड वन वन विल बी एक्सेप्ट बाय दिस देन वन वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो यस वन वन जीरो जीरो दैट विल बी एक्सेप्ट Next one one. Then from this bracket, I'm just using one one. Like one one. From this, I will use this one one. Then this two zero. Whenever you are using this, so there should be two one two zero, and in between that you can write this thing one plus zero zero whole plane closure three one zero zero. First one, second one, third one, first zero, second zero. it is at state q1 so this string is generated by this regular expression but it is not accepted by this tfa so option d is not the regular expression for this tfa if we'll write decimal number for this this will be 28 and 28 is not divisible by 3 we found option a is the regular expression option b is the regular expression option c is the regular expression d is not the regular expression so answer will be option a option b and option c this was a msq multiple selective question so there can be three answer a b c if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you